uh, this one came from a company. It was a company computer, and you know they'll just get rid. Usually they work. They just have viruses or something. Uh, but you don't ever know if they have hardware trouble. You know the people there at that shop may mess with it and do whatever they think they can do. And then it doesn't fix it, and then the people they they have a contract with to maintain them will say, "Well, you've got to mail it to us," and it'll end up costing, you know, anything. $150 shipping, you know, it might end up costing $500 to get it fixed. And they say, never mind, we'll buy a new one. That's how I've got my Lenovo i5 down there that uh, used to be my main computer. Only thing wrong with it is it was full of viruses. It's been, it's never given me any problems. It's just that it's, uh, it's a quad core with 4 gig of RAM, that's how it came. And... It only has, you can it has one PCI slot, so you can't put a video card in it, and it only has 256 megabyte of onboard video memory. But I still have been, been able to use it. I mean, I thought I was way behind with my 512 megabyte video card in my computer before that. I mean, it still runs. It's a, it's a, I built it. It was a gateway that got hit by lightning and Everything was okay except for the motherboard, and I kept the memory and the processor, and I got a BioStar motherboard at that time. I, they just were a good deal on Tiger Direct, and I didn't know whether, you know, I didn't know whether they're any good or not. I just figured they'd probably be all right. It's they, it's still working fine, <coughs> but uh, but it made from day one it made noise in the audio, and I never I wasn't quite sure if it was a motherboard or what, and I didn't. Uh, I tried to. I finally decided. To try to send it, try to send it back before the warning went out, and they said, "Oh, yours is out of warning." I said, "What do you mean it's out of warning?" You know, I showed them the dates. I had a good long time, you know, three to six months, and they said, "Oh no, your warning doesn't start when you buy it. It starts when it's manufactured." And I said, "I thought to myself, I hope they go broke. They need to go broke for that." I think I thought they did. <laughs> uh, I usually don't do that, but that was just so unbelievable. And, you know, there's nothing. They're a Chinese company. There's nothing you can do about it. And they, they were so uh, just haughty about it, you know. I didn't even talk to them on the phone. They were haughty, so haughty in the emails <laughs> that it made me furious. And uh, they wouldn't even answer me, you know. Uh, wouldn't answer my questions. I'd have to ask the same question four times to get them to answer it and keep writing them and... So uh, and I have two. I had bought two within a few months of year, within a year of each other. They both, they do still work. I thought it. I thought it had quit and went bad. That's why I tried to send it back. Not. I didn't even send it back because of the audio. I just never could use that machine for recording and doing videos. You know. I thought maybe it was something to do with some other part on there, but I, I finally decided after swapping some different parts that it was the motherboard. But it was the only machine I had, and I could. I did, couldn't really do without it at the time. Anyway, the other one, that was a 1.8 gigahertz uh, two dual core Intel that I had gotten out of that gateway. And the other one I built for my mom and it was an AMD uh, two, that was two, uh, I think it was right even two gigahertz, maybe 2.2. Uh, I built it with uh, AMD 2.2 gigahertz and two gig RAM. That thing was twice as powerful as, uh, as that o uh, other one was. And both had 512 megabyte video cards, dedicated video cards. And uh, I've still got those parts. And I kept thinking, I need to put them in something to set them up to do something with them. But I haven't done it. Uh, I was kind of, once I started getting, you know, I built, I rebuilt her machine in the same box. And I bought a, uh, why did I? It was hers that I thought the motherboard was going out in. Maybe that's the one they said that to me on. Yeah, probably. Because it turned out it was her switch. And what it was, it would intermittently hang, you know, momentary switches is what these compute most all these computers, these newer ones use. Every, I'm, when I say newer, I mean up to 20, 25 years old. Uh, the older ones, the, the 386s and 286s and some of the 486s had an on-off switch. Uh, but these, these momentary, you know, you, when you're pushing it in, it's, it's, it's 
connecting and sending the power to the part of the power supply to tell the motherboard, you know, to send power to the motherboard. A, a relay, I meant, some sort of, re, you know, tra transistorized relay. Um, but uh, could even be a, a little processor that does it. I don't I might be, because I've looked at a lot of power supplies. I don't remember seeing anything that looked like a relay in there. It's not a regular relay, but anyway, not a, you know, wound with coils and stuff. Not electromagnet relay, but um, anyway, it was intermittent, and I like to never figured it out. And I bought her another motherboard, and I put it in there. That's how I figured it out. I finally figured. I mean, I used my multimeter to test it and everything, and I thought, uh, you know, the switch was good. I tested the switch over and over. Put the new motherboard in it. And it ran uh, ran great, and then quit. Next time I turned it off, turned it back on, it did it again. Exact same thing. It would just try to start it and shut down. Try to start it and shut down. Try to start it and shut down because the 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 switch was hanging on the connected position and if you know if it kind of got bumped around a little bit or something it would let go and it was so random and so i put it all back together with our motherboard and it's, it would ran until i took it apart to uh, that motherboard was in, that i bought was an as rock and after several years it was beginning to not keep up so well with you know firefox's new versions and stuff uh, it was beginning to notice it you know and how uh, the bloatware of Firefox and Chrome, and I can't even use Chrome. I don't. I, I, I'll put it on a machine. Just, I haven't done it on my server yet, just so, for a backup browser. But I never. I hate using it. It uses so much resources, and I don't like the way it works. But the uh, I, I bought I, that AS Rock motherboard would run any processor from a dual core to an eight core. And it could use DDR3 and DDR2 RAM, and so I bought eight gig of DDR2 RAM, an eight core AMD 8300 processor. It wasn't on the list of supported, but it does does work. But I didn't like what I didn't like though is that it uh, the onboard Ethernet used to work, but it wouldn't work with. I couldn't get it to work with this processor. I couldn't uh, find any. Uh, you know, it didn't seem to be a driver issue. It seemed to be. Uh, uh, after I did research that other people had had the same problem when they put an 8300 in there or, or other 8-core processors in that motherboard. It's a popular motherboard because it's so versatile. They don't make them anymore, but I still get... I made videos about all everything I did on that thing, and I get uh, comments more on that, those videos than any other videos I've ever made. People ask you... They're still working with them. They're asking me questions. Can I do this? Can I... Do? It's always... I'm going to get... I want to get this... Uh, Usually it's the one I got, you know, the AMD 8300. I want to get this. I didn't realize I could look at the camera. I want to get this processor. Will it work? And I said, well, it'll work, and it runs okay, but you you won't get your... Look, we got 200 megabit Ethernet. I had to get the Ethernet to work. I had to put a 100 megabit Ethernet card in it. It's only got one PCIe slot. I even bought some PCIe cards and didn't pay enough attention. It only had one slot, and it's the one with the... Uh, it has... It has to, the only one, it's the one with the... <laughs> 512 megabyte uh, video card in it, and that's more than what's on board. There is on board video on that AS Rock board, but it's only 256. And that just, I didn't think, I didn't want to do that to her. She'd have all kinds of trouble surfing the internet and shopping and wouldn't know why, you know, and get frustrated. <coughs> so, uh, but the 512 works fine unless you're like heavily watching videos a lot, you know, on YouTube or something. Of course, none of us play games. But uh, I used to a little bit. I used to play Porsche Unleashed and stuff, Need for Speed, years ago. But my buddy was real into games. He had PlayStations and all that stuff. And I found the, the free version of it on the computer, and I used to play. I used to play it online back, did it back on dial-up days. I used to play online with other people on dial-up days. I did it a little bit after we got cable. We had like three megabits, and that was compared to 256k. That was fast. So, that thing there, I don't know why I have to tell a story when I actually have something in mind to do here. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I do that. I just do it. I believe I have that little adapter right here. Not in this tray, but i got to get it out of the way. I think it should be on the top of my stuff. I, earlier in the other videos, if you see any of the other ones, I lost one of the screws to that switch, 
and I looked and looked for it when in between videos. I couldn't find it. Couldn't find it in the toolbox. I thought it might have fell in here. I didn't want to dig everything out of here, so I gave up. Couldn't find it on the floor. I mean, that tray, I did look completely through that tray. It's, uh, I uh, found a screw that worked, worked just fine. Perfect. Right threads, about the right length. So I put that in there. Because I didn't want that switch hanging in the breeze. Uh, because all of its uh, soldering is done on the bottom and there is no insulation under there. And, uh, and the way it is, if you got both screws in it, it's not it's not dangerous. It's got like about a quarter inch space. If you have one screw and it starts walking around, here's my adapter that I've never tried. I, I was going to try it with one of my old computers out in the garage. It's supposed to make uh, give you your twenty, you know, twenty pin. It goes from twenty pins to twenty four. It's supposed to be wired right. And got it for like four bucks. Thought, why not try it? And if it works, uh, I don't think you're going to be able. I, I haven't seen any more for that price. And this, this one's not. You know, well that stuff goes away pretty quick anyway. These a lot of this stuff on Amazon or wherever. I got it on Amazon, I believe. That's uh, got my CPU paste. But I'm going to try this. Let me leave the bag out and put my tray back in there. I'm going to have everything off in the floor if I don't. I better get those. It's a delicate situation. Got everything in just the right place. Okay. Yeah. What did I do with my screwdriver? I'll leave it up there until I'm done. Okay. Might as well try it because, I mean, it could be a dead power supply. Still could be the bad switch and I just can't figure it out. But, uh, get my pliers so that I won't hurt my little fingers trying to get that out of there. Oh, I took it out earlier. You just, this one works good. Yeah, it doesn't want to work now. <sighs> there it goes. You just got to, some of them you, you can squeeze your, to your heart's. Till you till your fingers are bleeding and you can't get uh it's really a weird looking deal. Looks like it should be clamping into something. Okay, but you can tell which way to put it. Well I don't think you could put it wrong. But uh just takes those twenty pins and makes them uh twenty four. So I do think that's really odd, and from what I remember, even if there are some that can run either, they'll run either way, like 20 or 24, it wouldn't hurt to have the 24 now, unless this thing is, uh, this adapter's piece of junk, and I do, I do remember there were several different ones for sale, different companies selling them, and I do remember, make sure it's all seated good. Looks like it. I do remember some brands, you know, some other sellers ever saying, this is a piece of crap, it blew up my power supply or my motherboard. My motherboard, I believe, is what they said, which would make sense. That would probably burn. The power supplies are usually, if they get shorted, they'll shut themselves down, unless they're not grounded. I learned that the hard way. I uh, was building my power supply amp. There are two car, I use it for years and years now. Uh, that's my, my audio amplifier. It's got two car, 80 watts car stereo amps, and uh, I got from uh, Parts Express years ago, if you ever heard of them, and uh, they're 13 bucks, and they're great, they're quiet, uh, just enough, just plenty for in here, you know, and I'm running six speakers, one set of car speakers in boxes, and then two, one jam box, set of jam box speakers, and a set of old 80 stereo speakers, 10 inches. But anyway, I run them off of two power supplies. Well, I wanted to build it with, I wanted to have 12 volts for the amps, and I wanted to have up, and then I wanted to be able to wire them, I wired two, two, of them, two power supplies in series to get 24 volts, because I wanted to be able to power laptops without having to buy a new laptop power supply to test them. I had some that I wanted to work, to, to see if they worked, and I didn't have power supplies. 
and uh, it didn't power them on. It was, it was I don't know if it's because it was too much voltage or what, but uh, uh, I never did, you know, like build anything or buy anything to adjust the voltage. And uh, but during the process of making them, when I was uh, I was testing things with my, I didn't have the digital multimeter. I just had my old radio sh check analog meter, and it uh, had very long leads on it. And I, I twice on two different ones, I taken them out of some of those old older computers I had out there that still ran. <laughs> Most I think almost all of them still ran. They just I just robbed the power supplies. And I blew, I just shorted them out, just destroyed them in an instant by, sh you know, I had the ground lift on. You have to take the ground. What you do is you just put a plastic washer between the, the motherboard of it, of the, of the, the board of the power supply and the cake, cake, the box it's in, and it lifts the ground. And that, and that's the only way you can safely, uh, wire them in series to, to double the voltage. And, um, but if you short them, they go instantly, and uh, I run two that way until I, I, I have trouble with my hands shaking and I can't see good while I'm saying that all day today. You probably figured that out by now, but uh, I was, so uh, I lost two power supplies during the, during the learning experience, but I did get it set up, but then it made, I, what I didn't I anticipate is that it was going to make noise so easily. Sometimes it wouldn't, and sometimes it would, and uh, one of the things I want to do is run my hard drive, my hard drive adapters. I've got one to do it, SATA and IDE. Well, I, have, I think I have a different one that does IDE. Anyway, uh, when you plug those in, you can hear them them hard drives spinning, you know, and the electric sound of the spin, and you can't stand it to, to do anything with them. Well, it even does that now after I put them. I, I, what I did is I took the ground lifts out uh, and made them, well, you know, two separate 12 volt uh, power supplies. <coughs> and you have to learn how to wire them up. To get them to come on without a motherboard, <coughs> but um, it's down there. I don't get, yeah, you can see it. that's it right there. Can't. I was probably in the dark, but uh, it's just an old Dell box. It got it got destroyed by lightning. The it was one that we bought brand new. Uh, it might have been the power supply that was ruined. I thought I thought the motherboard was bad, but I don't think I ever tried it. <coughs> I think the, yeah, I think the power supply was bad <coughs> or damaged. I think I might have used it for stuff for a while. I don't remember now. Too many years ago. But I bought that one very new. It was a Celeron 2.4 gigahertz or something. But anyway, uh, once I uh, took the ground lift off of them, and so I just have two separate 12 volt power supplies and two two amps. I uh, it doesn't. And once in a while, you'll get a noise, but it's because of the wiring and stuff, you know, or some of the computers that you plug in. I have a patch bay up there, and some of them I plug in will send noise back through there and stuff, and I just don't plug them in, you know. Some of them will work fine on their own, but not with other computers plugged in. But uh, you wouldn't have that problem probably if you had. Well, yeah, you might, because I plugged. Yeah, I did try plugging the, the Lenovo. It's the Lenovo and my server. I, I had. That's when I had to go down to only plug it in one at a time because I couldn't get rid of the noise and I tried it through the mix I have a Behringer 8 channel mixer over here that I use for my videos not using it right now but I use it for my SM58 mic and stuff and uh, it's still it, it was still a terrible noise it was sending it right through the mixer so a lot of times the mixers will, will, will uh, have enough filtering in them to stop that you know I guess it was too bad but anyway the uh, it's on right now. Can't hear a thing out of it. And but it's plugged into my uh oh my new TV that's in the background here. See well, my this is a sidetrack project to get to get to where I can put I wanted to the new TV that's just sitting here on my half on my desk and half on my keyboard tray of my rack. Uh it's going it's sending the sound the server goes to the uh T V with HDMI, and so that sends audio and video, and then the earphone output's going to the patch bay up there that you can't see, and then it's just four RCAs in there, two two going in and two going out to the amps, and then they're split down there at the amps. No, and it's just super quiet that way. I heard a little noise the other day, yes, the other day, but it's not doing it today. Yesterday, might have been because I still had some other. I might have had that. I had kept swapping them, you know, doing different things. 
but uh, I had the Lenovo plugged in for a while yesterday because I was using it to make stream my videos that I made about the TV. But what I was doing here is I wanted to, I've got one computer right in here, and I used to have one over there, and I took it out over the years, and I wanted to put one in there, and then I'm planning on setting this monitor. It has legs on the way far outside, real sturdy steel, cast, cast, cast iron or cast aluminum. They're probably cast aluminum. I did check them to see if they were magnetized. Yeah, they're aluminum. They don't magnet. So I figured they were aluminum at first. And I thought, maybe they're steel because they're kind of heavy. Uh, I've never seen one of these TVs like this with, uh, you know, they always have plastic legs that are flimsy. These are good ones. And it's the Scepter, the, the uh, you know, the bargain brand of Walmart. 158 bucks and 4K, uh, 38 whatever by 26 or whatever it is. They say it the right way. Everybody says it backwards. They always say the... To me, everything, the video resolution is width, height, not height, width. But they always list everything these days height, width. And it confuses the crap out of me. But uh, at first I thought this one was even higher resolution than the rest of them. Then I got to looking at it. No, it's just, they just swapped the numbers. But, uh, which I guess a lot of people would say, oh, they're just trying to fake you out, you know. Because uh, that's, everybody else does it the other way. Like 1080p, that's the height. The width is way more than that. I was looking at a chart. Well, it was in this computer. It was one in the setup of this computer. I believe that's why I saw it. Anyway, or maybe it was a web page I went to. But I, I, when I turn it on, where is it? I know, you want me to try that, right? So I won't turn that on. It'll just wash out the camera anyway. When I turn, it, it, the server's running, and all I have to do is turn it on, and, you, and I can work, you know, I can run my server. But... Uh, and I say server, I'm running Fedora 32 with my desktop. I really, it is a server, HP DL 380G7 server. But I set it up as a desktop and then I figured I would run my websites on a uh, virtual machine. Because it's got, it's got four Ethernet ports and I need to buy me or my, either, I've got some Cat6 cable that's like 24 pair, more than that. It's at least 24 pairs from back when I used to do installation work. And I can make up a cable, one cable that'll do it all, you know, have plenty spares. But I don't have any ends. I've got the crimpers and everything. So I either gotta buy that and make them or if I see some cables on sale. I've got one for the ethernet in there now. That's all I had was Cat6, of Cat, well I have long enough of Cat6. I've got two in there that I bought several years ago. They're not very good cables, they were real cheap. Uh, one for the uh, remote access for the uh, ILO and one for the uh, Ethernet to get online and everything. So anyway, <clears throat> stop your jabbering and let's try this machine. <clears throat> okay, let's stand it up. I'll stand it up like this, I guess. Uh, yeah, that way if it does come on, it won't be making so much noise. It's in my face. <sighs> Ooh, but it may... I did vacuum it out, but... It really didn't, uh, I realized once, since I've been working on it, it really didn't, uh, I was worried about the battery going down, but I just remembered I uh, plugged it in. It's not, the battery ain't going to go down. Okay, so which way is which? Well, that's made that way. I just looked at, I've seen that a hundred times, but I thought, has that actually been bent? Well, I'm not going to put the front cover on it so I can mash that button real easy, but... Let's not have, if there's any loose dust in there, let's not have it going on, on my bed. I've made that mistake before, working on machines right here. Okay, so I've got USB, the one that usually goes to my server, and the VGA, which I'm not using, I'm like, it's my, for my, goes to my KVM switch. I can switch to whatever machine I want go to but now so now I'm using it to switch to, to connect the uh, you know the, the TV's always connected via the HDMI but the uh, uh, USB the, the mouse and keyboard I like using the same one I've had it for dang near 20 years I love it. it's an old HP keyboard a multimedia keyboard um, <clears throat> Actually, I had two of them. I pretty well wore out the other one, and I switched and started using this one. I, I got them both on for like $12. I bought one, and I liked it so much, I thought, you know what? That's still on sale. I'm going to, for 